Hey everyone, so I'm doing a little screen recording per usual when I do these little how-to videos on Wix. So right now I'm currently pulling up the little screenshot that I have of one of my comments from one of my lovely subscribers. I love getting comments as to what to make because it helps me out um, on creating my next video for you guys. So this comment was from Ruben Salvateria. I think I said that right. Sorry if I butchered it. But it was like, hi, awesome video. How do you add tax and handling for each state? Do you add that on Wix, Shippo, or both? So to answer the last question, if you add it on Wix, Shippo, or both, I only add tax on Wix. Only because Shippo is more so of the transfer of the completed purchase that they made from your website. That gets transferred to Shippo so that you can then print out um, and create that label for your packaging. So Shippo is just kind of like the aftermath um, and for your label makers and to purchase your label makers. Wix is really where the whole shabam happens and where you want to make sure that you have your store tax, um, store taxes all set in place. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in onto how to do that. So right now what you're seeing is my Wix dashboard. Wix kind of updated their whole site in the way it kind of looks. Um, as you can tell from my previous video, um, when I teach you something else on Wix, I can't remember exactly what it was right now, but this is my dashboard. What you want to do is you want to go down to your settings. So go ahead and click on settings. And then you're going to go down to where it says e-commerce and finance and where it says store tax. So once that loads, as you can tell, I I live in Florida and I am in the United States as my country. And um, that's the only reason why I solely collect tax from Florida. Um, now it's just based upon preference as to where you want to co collect tax from as far as like state and country wise. So that's just up to you. I only collect from Florida. Um, don't ask me why. <laughs> But this is basically where all the magic happens. So let's say if you had nobody, what it'll basically tell you is like create an account with Avalara. I think it's called Avalara. If yeah, Avalara, exactly what that's showing right now. So Avalara, and that is to have your tax um, for that state generated automatically um, based on that state and based on that rate. Um, that percentage at checkout. So I thought it was best to just do it like that. And if you're planning on doing it for multiple states, I think it's better to do it automatically just because it generates it based on that state's tax so that you're not doing it manually and maybe you mess up or the tax rates change, they go higher or lower. So that's why I just chose to set up my account with Avalara, which it'll instruct you to do the same if you choose to do it automatically versus manually. So once you create that, then you'll basically just choose the country and then the state that you want to collect the tax from. And like I said, I chose United States and Florida. And so then when you click on that, you obviously see it's automated because I have an account with Avalara. Yeah, I'm taxing them on my digital products that I have. And then um, the rate for Florida is 6%. So it does everything automatically for you. And then see right here, based on the country, United States, you can go ahead and add however much more states you want to collect tax from. And it's just that simple. So after you pick your states, your country, and everything looks the way it like the way that you like it and how you want it, you're gonna go ahead and save. And then you don't have to worry about anything after that. Like I said, it's automated, it's easy, it's great. Um, when someone checks out based on the state that you chose, it'll automatically populate in the checkout the tax um, and it'll add that and then they'll be able to go ahead and process their checkout with that. Then you don't have to worry about it when you go into Shippo. Like I said, Shippo is just solely for your shipping labels and all that stuff. So <sighs> it's a lot of a lot of talking right there. <laughs> but I hope that you found this video helpful. Very, very short, simple, um, but yet something that a lot of people probably want to know how to do. So I'm glad I was able to help you. Thank you again, Ruben, for the recommendation on making this video. 
hope this answered your question and helped you guys out a lot. Again, if you liked this video and found it helpful, give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below what you would like to see next and hope to see you all in my next video.